Hey everyone, today I'm walking you through setting up Modic in Coolify and building your own SMTP server using Postal on a Contabo VPS. This is an updated walkthrough with better quality and clear step-by-step -step instructions. Let's dive in. First up, installing Modic in Coolify, head to your Coolify dashboard and click New Resource. Type Modic in the search box and you'll see Modic 5, that's the latest version. Click it. Now, under Modic Web, click Settings. Here's where you add your Modic URL. I'm entering my subdomain, mauticaibuilttools.com. Make sure to add HTTPS at the beginning. Click Save and then Deploy. Give it a couple of minutes to install. Once it's ready, click the link to open Mautic. On the Setup screen, click Next Step. You'll need the database password. Go back to Coolify, copy the MySQL password, and paste it here. Click Next Step. Now enter your admin username. I'm using admin and create a strong admin password. Add your first name, last name, and email address. Click Next Step. You'll see the login screen. Enter your username and password, then click Login. Perfect. Modix installed. Now let's set up the Postal SMTP server. I'm using my test server for this demo. Open Termius and log in to your Contabo VPS using SSH. First, let's update the system. Enter the command you see on screen to update and upgrade all packages. You can get all the commands and a complete guide on the CV Global. I will add the link in the description below. Next, we'll install the essential tools. Enter this command. Now we need a domain for the postal server. For that, I will create a subdomain. I add a record, host, postal, and my server IP address. You have to wait a few minutes to update the DNS record. Set the host name for your server. This is important for email delivery. Enter the command with your domain name. We need to edit the host's file. Open it with the command shown. Add your server's IP address and domain name here. You can see the format on screen. Don't add the hash symbol, just the IP and domain. Save and exit by pressing Ctrl X, then Y, then Enter. Now we'll install Docker, which Postal needs to run. Enter this command to install Docker using the official installation script. Let's start Docker and enable it to run on system boot. Enter this command. Verify Docker's installed correctly with this command. Next, install the Docker Compose plugin. Verify the installation. Great, Docker's ready. Postal needs a database to store its data. We're using MariaDB. First, enter this command to create a directory for the database. Now, run the MariaDB container. Enter the command on screen. Make sure to use a strong password where it says MariaDB root password. Wait about 10 seconds for MariaDB to start properly. Verify MariaDB's running. Enter this command. You should see the MariaDB container listed and running. Postal also needs RabbitMQ for message queuing. This is a critical component. Enter this command to run the RabbitMQ container. Again, use a strong password. Wait about 10 seconds for RabbitMQ to start. Verify RabbitMQ's running with this command. Perfect. Both MariaDB and RabbitMQ are running. Now we're ready to install Postal itself. Clone the Postal installer with this command. Create a symbolic link so we can easily run Postal commands. Enter this command. Verify Postal's accessible with this command. Now, bootstrap Postal with your domain name. Enter this command with your domain. This creates the configuration file we need to edit. Open the Postal configuration file with this command. You need to update the database passwords. Find the main DB section and change the password to match what you set for MariaDB. Do the same for MessageDB. Now we need to add the RabbitMQ configuration. You can see the complete configuration on screen. Add this section after the MessageDB section. Save and exit by pressing Ctrl X, then Y, then Enter. Now let's initialize the postal database. Enter this command you should see success messages indicating the database is ready. Next, create the admin user. You'll be prompted to enter your email address, first name, last name, and password. Use a strong password and remember these credentials. Now start Postal. Check the status with this command. All services should show as running. For secure HTTPS access, 
we're using caddy as a reverse proxy. Open the caddy file with this command. Enter the configuration you see on screen. Make sure to use your domain name. This tells caddy to proxy requests to postal and automatically get an SSL certificate. Save and exit. Create a directory for caddy data. Now run the caddy container. Enter the command on screen. Check the caddy logs. Caddy should successfully start and automatically obtain an SSL certificate from Let's Encrypt. Now open your web browser and go to your postal URL with HTTPS. Log in using the email address and password you created earlier. Great, you're inside the postal admin interface. Click Create the First Organizations and then enter your organization name. Click Create Organization. Now click Build your first mail server. Give it a name. I'll call it AI Built Tools SMTP. Click Build Server. Perfect, your mail server is created. Now, we need to add the domain you'll send emails from. Click Domains and then add your first domain. Enter your domain name and click Create Domain. Postal will show you the DNS records you need to add. Let's add them to your domain. First, copy the SPF record. Go to your domain registrar and add a new TXT record. Use at as the host and paste the SPF value. Next, copy the DKIM record name. Add another TXT record. Paste the name in the host field and paste the key value in the value field. Do the same for any C name records shown. Once all records are added, go back to Postal and click Check My Records Are Correct. All records should show green check marks. If you see any warnings about the MX record, that's okay for now. We're using this primarily for sending, not receiving. You can enable it too. Now we need to create credentials for connecting to this SMTP server. Click Credentials and then New Credential. Give it a name. I'm calling it Test, but you can use whatever name you prefer. Select SMTP as the type and click Create Credentials. Let's test if our SMTP server is working properly. Click on the credential you just created to see the details. Copy the SMTP server address. I'm using a third-party SMTP tester tool. You can find many of these online. Paste the SMTP server address, enter port 25 or 587, and add the username and password from Postal. Enter a from email address using your domain and a to email address. I'm using my Gmail address. Click test it. Look at that. The test passed successfully. Let me check my Gmail inbox. And there it is. The email was delivered successfully. There's one more important step for better email deliverability, setting up the PTR record. Go to your Contabo server dashboard and click DNS management. Click reverse DNS management. Find your server's IP address and click the pencil icon to edit. Change the PTR record to your SMTP server domain name. In my case, postal.aibuildtools.com. Click update and that's it. You now have a fully functional Postal SMTP server running on your Contabo VPS. In the next part of this series, I'll show you how to connect Monic to this SMTP server so you can start sending marketing emails through your own infrastructure. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials on WordPress, automation, and AI tools. Drop any questions in the comments below and I'll help you out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.